variety of games from the oldest, which is Horseshoe here, which is a very simple game. Um, it's a blocking game. So you take it in turns to move along the lines. So you might do that if you were white, or you could do that to start. Black then only has one move. White can do that or that. Does that. That leaves black only that. And hey, we're back where we started. But because there is no line across there, there's the opportunity to block the other person. So let's imagine I did that. White wasn't concentrating. Did that. Gotcha. White can't move anywhere. But it's such a simple game. Easy to draw and you can imagine easy to scratch and that's how we found out some of its history because that pattern has been scratched on temple steps in Egypt, Greece, well before uh, 500 BC. So it's been around a very long time. I like this one, which is magic. I love this one. al or al -Gurk. There was a king of Castile called Alfonso and he obviously had stroppy courtiers and he turned around and said, right, write out all the rules of the games. I'm fed up with you arguing. And that book, it's amazing, that book, long before printing, so it's only a manuscript, has survived to the present day. And there's over 20 games in there, board games and dice games, because it's long before playing cards. About 11.80 or something like that. This is like drafts in the sense that you can go forwards or sideways, but you can also go diagonally. And you must capture... Ha ha, gotcha. Oh. Black. And, oh, what's going to happen here? It's white's move. What White can do that. But, of course, black is going to do that anyway. And so the game goes on. And the object of the game, like any medieval battle, is for the opposition to fight and capture the enemy's hill. And if you can get more men to there, or white can get more men to this side, then they are the winners. Simple game, but a lot of fun. And it's always set up clockwise, because anti-clockwise is the sign of the devil. 